what's happening, Halton, once again, getting you set for your family-friendly weekend with Amber Rohal of ActiveParents.ca. And Amber, we're starting things off. We haven't talked about this place yet. The Royal Botanical Gardens. What is happening this weekend? This is the Enchanted Garden Weekend at Royal Botanical Gardens. So if you have kids who love fairies and mythical creatures, this is the place you want to be. They will get meet and greets. They'll do some activities. They'll roam the gorgeous gardens. It's a fantastic event. I feel like this is going to end up in a whole bunch of dressing up for parents as well. I think kids might show up dressed up. And if they don't, then be prepared, parents, because afterwards the kids are going to be like, where do I get one of those costumes? That's it. This is the time to clean out your tickle trunk of costumes and wear it one more time before they've outgrown it. I love that you just use tickle trunk. It resonates with me. And I'm pretty sure if a kid's show is made nowadays, tickle trunk would be such a no-no <laughs> to put on kids TV. Regardless, hey, I'm Mr. Dress Up. I have a whole chest of costumes in my basement because I'm a crazy man. But nonetheless, uh, let's move along beyond the Royal Botanical Gardens and my weird history of television shows. And instead, you are condoning drumming for children once again, Amber. It's happening this weekend. Absolutely. The best place to drum is not at home. So yes. if you go to Bronte Waterfront Park, the great folks at Bandology will have drumsticks and buckets for kids to drum on in the afternoon. They'll teach them some songs and some percussion and they'll get them to follow along with some music and the kids love it. Yeah, I bet they do. I would slightly worry, though, that they love it a little bit too much. And the uh, the Christmas list has drum kit listed on it after attending. So that one you got to be careful of because then it shows up in the garage and all of a sudden you fully regret it. Unless your child turns into a Dave Grohl and then you're good. That's not a bad idea. We can do yeah. that. Pays off in the end. Uh, finally, though, a nice quiet and calm activity for parents to round out the weekend. Uh, making very retro but friendship bracelets. Are, are these still in for kids nowadays? These are huge again. My daughters both make them and trade them with all their friends. So if you go to Michael's, they're going to have a whole friendship bracelet making station set up. They've got all the supplies. It's a free activity. And I love that this one kind of caters to kids in that tween teen section as well. They're often, you know, sort of left out of the fun family activities as they get older. So they'll love this one. So are these made, what was it from, uh, was it GIMP? Is that the material that's, is that, am I right? You have a great memory. That was the plasticky, rubbery yeah. the cord. Yes, yeah, so you can make them with GIMP. You can use um, like a baker's twine they have these days. Yeah, my kids make all kinds. All right. I would probably just leave it off as like taking a long twist tie and putting it around my wrist. No creative flair for this guy here, but luckily uh, the kids will probably have it and you can push them along to be very artsy and start them at Michael's this week. And well, Amber, those are three activities for people to check out, all family friendly. And if people want more, where can they go? You can find tons to do on our events calendar at activeparents.ca. Talk to you next week. Have a great weekend.